Hello planty people, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, my name is Shelby, aka Miss Botanica. And in today's video, we will be going through all of Michael's little brother, Matthew's, plant collection. Now let's get on with the video. Okay, so the first plant, I'm gonna do this from like the ugliest, I think, to the prettiest plant. So starting off is an owl that Michael gifted Matthew. Matthew does not like this plant. Michael did not like this plant. It is a very sad discombobulated owl. I don't blame either one for not liking this plant. I would honestly just throw it out. But they're keeping it. So there's an aloe, you know, the basic aloes. Um, let's do this nice, nice tray of cacti. I do not know what this one is. I don't know what this one is. But this one I know is a dragon fruit cactus because it came from my best friend. I think he's had these for four, five years, maybe longer. He's had them a while. He just recently started getting into houseplants, by the way. Okay, then we have these two containers of cacti. These are off of one of those, and they look almost completely different. I don't understand, but here they are, you know cacti per usual I'm not really a cactus person but they're cute I guess I'm the one that propagated these actually so I'm kind of proud of myself but Matthew's been the one to take care of them okay next up is a castle cactus now this guy is cute don't get me wrong like he's really cute he's probably very root bound he's been in this his entire life he does not look too happy um I would love to have one of these but a, maybe a variegated one. A variegated one of these would be really cool, I think. But he's just kind of chilling. He's living. Doing his whatever his thing is. Okay. Next. Oh. This is one of Matthew's jades. Actually, this is his only jade at the moment. I'm not sure if it's from Michael's plant or if it's from one of my original plants. Either way, Matthew somehow got one of my jades. It's more than likely just from, I say Michael's jade, as in the big one back here that I gave him. So technically speaking, it is still mine, but it looks a lot better than Michael's that I gave him after I had it. So this one's mine that I gave Michael. The one back there is Michael's that I also gave Michael. That's a lot. But anyway, it's a jade nonetheless, <laughs> and it's looking a lot better than that one that I used to have. Okay, next, this one is a Haworthia. I will have um, Michael insert the names of these if I can find them. And obviously not the cacti, because I have no idea what any of them are. And for castle cactus, you're just going to get castle cactus. Next, this is a portion of Michael's original plant. It's a Raven's Easy. This one hasn't grown in a while um, because it was in Michael's room for the longest time and it was very dark and lonely in here, but I would say it's still doing better. It's not as wobbly as it used to be. That's why the zip ties here because it used to just fall, but that's his Raven's Easy. Looks pretty good in my opinion. Um, let's see. This is a Pilea peperomoides, as many of you guys already know. It's just a tiny little one that he wanted because Michael told him that it was a hockey puck plant. So he plays hockey. So he was like, oh my God, I have to get it. Oh. So here's that. It's this tiny little Pilea peperomoides. He got a lot of like succulenty plants. This is Peperomia parallel that he got. Also from the same greenhouse as the other ones. He's really into these peperomia. Like, and they love him. Look at that. Look at that growth. That's so crazy. I would have killed this. Like, I like it, but like, I would have killed it. It's so pretty. I want to know how he does it. Because <laughs> he's not, he's new to plants. So how does he do it? Okay. Next we have a black or dark goldfish plant. This one was like down to here when we got it. So that's how much it's grown in like 
a month and a half that Matthew's had it and it's had blooms it's actually pushing out a bloom right there that bloom died that bloom died but again he's doing really well with this um Michael did not do so hot with any of the ones that he had Michael used to have the regular and the variegated and he was convinced he was going to keep the variegated one alive no that one succumbed to his neglectfulness so <laughs> he no longer has that now this one isn't really a plant yet but it's a cutting that I gave him that he hasn't taken really good care of it got root rot so I like chopped off a bunch of this so this is like really small but this is a Florida green a philodendron Florida green so it's a very sad cutting that he hasn't taken care of we will see if it lasts I have more cuttings so but that's his little Florida green nothing special all right this one I if you saw my Instagram I posted about it because I could not figure out the name of it for the life of me but I figured it out let me go to my iPad it is Pelione Pelionia pulchra aka watermelon begonia it's not a begonia I don't think it's like a begonia but like I have one of these too mine does not look this good mine has spider mites right now but just I love how it like shingles up like look at that it shingles up and it's just so pretty it's a very fast grower too if you don't have one of these go get yourself one of these because they're usually in the terrarium section and they're only like a dollar or two definitely get one highly recommend okay next up we have his tiny little watermelon peperomia and look at that it's got a new leaf it's got a couple of leaves coming in but like doesn't look the best cosmetic wise it was in the terrarium section but it's just a cute little watermelon peperomia we'll see how long this guy lasts it's very dry right now I tried not telling him to water his plants. He's got to learn the hard way. He spent his own money on these plants, so he needs to work to keep it alive so he doesn't feel bad about spending his money. Okay, so this one I knew was like some sort of friendship plant. I looked it up. It's a another Pilea. It's a Pilea involucrata. Michael will insert the name, but this one he got to bloom. He got this one to bloom. I don't know how he did that in winter, but he got it to bloom. It's kind of got like these, it's not as dark as it usually is in like all the pictures I've seen of it. It could be a different version, but it's a Pilea nonetheless. It's a friendship plant. But here's that. The little blooms were here. I'm not sure if it's still blooming or not. I don't think it is, but it's weird. He likes the texture of the leaves. And I told him that he should get into begonias. <laughs> but here we are. This cute little little guy and then this is my favorite plant out of his collection and I have one of these. Michael does not have one of these, but Matthew got one. Ready? The last plant is a rabbit's foot fern. I love these so much. If you aren't good with ferns, this is a great beginner fern in my opinion because it tells you when it's thirsty. The leaves will start shrinking. It tells you like, hey, I need a drink. It'll tell you when it's too close to the light. It'll tell you when it's not getting enough light. It's just, it's such a good, easy fern to have. And it's got these cute little fuzzies on the bottom. Like, look at those little fuzzies. That's why it's called a rabbit's foot fern. But again, like I said, look at this. This guy is so, so easy care, so lush, so full. Like, that's amazing. It's so good. This is so, I'm so proud of this. I'm so proud that he's keeping it alive. He's even got new growth coming in. What I was saying was he's got a couple dry splotches, dried leaves. I've been trying to tell him to keep up with pruning and getting rid of dead leaves so that he doesn't get pests. And he's like, I don't want pests. He's got, he's so cute. He's got a little journal and he writes the plant's names and how he cares for them and if he's noticed things. I think that's so cute. That's great. Um, but yeah, here is the last lush fern. So great. 
I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to smash that like button. If you did not, give it a thumbs down. I don't care. You, you can't hurt my feelings. Don't forget to subscribe too and share. Please share. I'll see you on Instagram too. I've been really trying to stay active over there. Anyway, bye.